Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. Let's see what we have here today for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to start with some channeled messages, Aquarius, and then we're going to move to uh, Oracle and then the actual tarot reading, okay? So Aquarius, I feel like there's a situation here that you are just, you've just had enough. Okay, you've just had enough. Um, I feel like someone here cannot control themselves. Like you're dealing with someone that likes to pop off at the mouth and then they feel bad and guilty and they want to come in and then they want to try to talk it out and work it out with you. Um, like this person just, they might throw things at you or like they get super like just nasty or like, I don't know, this person does, they, they just lose their mind, okay? Or maybe they go drinking or they get high or they do they do something very negative every time they have, they're, they're mildly annoyed. Like this is how they deal with their problems. They'll yell, scream, uh, go cheat. You know, I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? They deal with their problems. The way they handle problems in life is in a very negative way, okay? And you're just so you know what I'm saying? You're just so tired of it. Um, you know, and, and this person constantly tells you, listen, I'm not going to go down that road anymore. I'm not going to act like that anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. I feel so bad. You know, I, I really want to be better. And, you know, and you keep like, you know, forgiving them for it, but it's becoming a little overwhelming. You're getting a little sick of the, uh, a little sick of the situation, you know, because it's just like unnecessary. It's very toxic almost, you know. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Conclusions are within reach, Aquarius. Because I'm kind of feeling, Aquarius, that like you're kind of wanting to be somewhere else or with someone else. Like you're kind of like starting to think, man, I need to go and get you know be with some other person like i can't do this anymore like you're starting to contemplate you know wanting to be somewhere else tell me about aquarius please tell me about aquarius please aquarius please what messages do we have here for my beautiful aquarians please a year from now Oh my gosh. So Aquarius, this isn't going to reach any form of conclusion, um, at least within the next year. So if you don't settle this now, you're going to be dealing with this type of behavior for another year. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aquarians, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got Envy. I feel like you're dealing with somebody here that maybe is very jealous or envious or uh, I don't know, like maybe, maybe you have something that this person wants. Maybe they envy your success or they envy the fact that you are so calm all the time, um, that things don't phase you the way it phases them, you know, especially maybe if let's just say you're dealing with a water sign Aquarius, right? And they're super emotional and you're just like, okay <laughs> you know because Aquarians, Aquarians generally aren't that emotional of people I mean unless you have a lot of water in your chart obviously so um you know you guys are very carefree so someone here may envy that or this person just may be envious of all the people around you you know what I'm saying like if you're going out with friends or whatever they may be very jealous or envious and um that's definitely not a positive thing especially with an Aquarius Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So we've got angels of the four directions. So Aquarius, your guides, your angels, uh, these are like the archangels coming in, a kindred partnership in the reverse. They're, they're starting to make it clear to you that this connection may not be for you, okay? Um, they're starting to make it clear to you that there may be something better out there. So I made my own oracle deck. It is ginormous. So we're going to split it up into three and then we will pull one card from each um, deck. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. 
clarity and guidance love messages for my beautiful Aquarians, please. Okay. So we have crush. So Aquarius, you may be, you know, so like tired of your connection that, um, that you're kind of like daydreaming about being with someone else, which is okay. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing wrong with that. It's just like a minor crush. There may be someone else that you have your eye on. Like, man, I'm really tired of dealing with this person. I wonder what it would be like. Um, we have under the deck here, um, it's selfish, but wait for me to mature. So you're dealing with someone that deals with situations in a very immature energy, and they want you to basically wait for them to grow up. I'm in my head and it's uh, destroying us. Okay, someone here just, you know, gets ideas in their head, whatever. Like I said, it's very toxic and they flip out, you know, um, and then we've got this year, you know, so I feel like, you know, within the year here, Somebody here is going to start to realize that they're really killing this connection. Um, tell me about Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have cheated. Boy. Aquarius, this could be an indication that maybe... Okay, I'm, what I'm getting here, Aquarius, is that someone's in a relationship that they're unhappy in, and they may be developing a crush with a third party, and they may feel like they're cheating just by having a crush on this third party. Let's see here. Wow. You don't know me, but I want you, and I'm never going to change. So I feel like there may be a crush here, maybe that you're not speaking to, and I feel like you're crushing on this person because the person you're currently with, you feel, is never going to change. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Twin Flame Journey. Twin Flame Journey. I love that you push me to be better. And last chance. Okay? Um... Aquarius, you may be on a twin flame journey with this person and that's why it's hard. It's really hard. This person wants a last chance. They know that you're trying to better them when you say, listen, it's not okay. Like how you're handling life and situations just isn't okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they know you're right, Aquarius, but at the same time, they can't seem to control themselves, you know, um, and you're kind of getting a little sick and tired of it. And I feel here that, you know, if, if you're just so sick of the relationship that you're crushing on somebody, you may feel so guilty. It may feel like you feel like you're cheating on this person. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Tell me about Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have the Seven of Cups. We've got the Lover's card in the reverse, Gemini Energy. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. And we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic Energy. Um, three of Swords under the deck. So Aries, uh, Aries, why am I saying Aries? Aquarius. So first of all, first of all, with the Seven of Cups in the Tower here, this could be someone that's suffering from mental illness. This could be someone that's emotionally unbalanced, um, you know, like an explosive temper type of deal, right? Um, but I feel like ultimately here, on this side, we have somebody that, you know, I feel like kind of wants the connection to be over or it is over for them. Um, I feel like someone here has a ton of options and they really don't need to deal with this. Do you see what I'm saying? They really don't need to deal with this. Um, you know, Aquarius, you're sitting there cool, calm and collected while this, I feel, look at how you're side eyeing this person. You're sitting there cool, calm and collected. Um, and I, I feel like there's this energy of, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of getting like, 
I hate to say this, but I'm kind of, like, getting that energy of, like, I don't know if you guys remember that movie with, like, Ricky Bobby, right? I'm kind of getting this energy of, like, I don't know what to do with my hands. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this person flips out and it almost makes you a little uncomfortable because the, the, um, the, the sheer emotion behind what they're doing is, like, a little uncomfortable for you. Um... And I feel like, you know, you're facing third parties here. You're, fa you know, you're, you're starting to acknowledge that you have other options and that you really don't need to be dealing with this, right? So let's see here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. The Lovers in the reverse. And the Fool card in the reverse. So I feel, Aquarius, that whoever here has these options, whoever here has these crushes, you're not talking to these people and you're not going towards these people because the connection hasn't ended yet. Tell me about the Queen of Swords here and the World card, but you're thinking about ending it. <laughs> you're thinking about ending it. Um, with the Hanged Man and the Devil card here, Aquarius, I feel like you've been waiting very unhappily here um, for this person to get it together for them to stop being toxic and acknowledge their problem. But I feel like it might be getting worse, you know, instead of getting better. Tell me about the tower here for Aquarius. The tower for Aquarius. Eight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, see, Aquarius, I feel that with the Eight of Wands, this person, the way they talk to you, the way they act, the things that they do, you're starting to really like sit back and look at it and you're just so tired with the tower here you're just so tired of the way this person treats you you know what i'm saying nine of wands ten of wands you've had enough i feel like you have a lot of people that are interested here aquarius you have a lot of people around you i don't feel that you are physically cheating i feel like just you acknowledging people these people makes me kind of it makes you kind of feel like you're cheating because now you're thinking about it, right? And you know how they say if you're thinking about it, then you're already there, like with cheating. Um, and I don't think that's a road that you want to go down, you know? You're just unhappy in this connection. Like this person's really starting to make you feel tired, uncomfortable, and overwhelmed. Um, tell me about Aquarius, please. Ooh. We have the Seven of Wands. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, from my Libra Energy, Ace of Wands in the Reverse, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands here, and we've got the Knight of Swords. We've got the Two of Cups, and we have the Ace of Wands in the Reverse, and then we have the Fool here under the deck. So Aquarius, this is the side of the person that the way, you know, the seven of wands talks about overcoming problems, right? So if they have a question to ask, or if they're curious about something, or if they had a bad day, the way they deal with this is in knight of swords energy, which is a very defensive energy. It could be a very nasty energy. Don't forget the knight of swords does not play around. The knight of swords is like a berserker. The knight of swords just gets on a, a horse to go attack somebody. Okay. They're rushing in with purpose. So I feel like the way this person handles stress is to be nasty to people, to attack people, right? And with the Ace of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Cups, this person doesn't want anyone else. They have love for this connection. Um, but at the same time, with the Fool card there, this person takes a lot of risks. They take a lot of risks with this connection. This person may even like to withhold sex, okay, or the silent treatment. Um, and again, with that fool card, this person then comes back around and probably, you know, keeps on expecting you to trust again or to start over again with them, which is very unfair, okay? Tell me about the seven of wands here for Aquarius, the ace of cups, Tell me about the Knight of Swords here and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like someone here consistently likes to threaten that they're fine on their own and they're going to find somebody new. Like that is someone's consistent threat. Tell me about the Two of Cups here for Aquarius. Page of Cups in the reverse. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ace of wands in the reverse 
and the Ten of Cups. This person apologizes. They don't actually mean the apology. They don't actually, you know, start over after that fight with an intention of changing, but they expect a Ten of Cups from you. They expect all your love, all your devotion, long-term stability. Meanwhile, all they do is threaten that they're fine without you, threaten that they're going to find somebody new. They lie when they say they're sorry. They, they, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's becoming a little too much here for you, Aquarius. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the challenge here for Aquarius. The challenge for Aquarius. We've got the Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries Energy, we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of This was the Six of Wands here, not the Seven of Wands, I'm sorry. So someone here lets their pride get in the way. I apologize. This is the Seven of Wands. So the challenge here, Aquarius, okay, so excuse me, the, the way this changes this reading, Aquarius, is that this person threatens that they could find somebody better than you. Like, this person may constantly be pounding you with, oh, you know, I could find someone so much better than you, I could find someone so much better than you, okay? Um... The challenge here, Aquarius, is that you're stopping yourself from going for what you actually want. Meanwhile, this may very well be a very unequal give and take type of situation, okay? Maybe this person relies on you financially, possibly, so you feel bad leaving, but I feel like... I feel like you're not giving attention to what you want to give attention to. Um, three of wands under the deck. I feel there you are, the king of swords, Aquarian energy, three of wands under the deck. I feel that, you know, there may be somebody that you have your eye on, but ultimately with the ten of pentacles here, I feel that, um, I feel that you want long-term stability with someone. You just want to be happy. You want to achieve goals. And with the Seven of Swords here, um, I think you feel bad. But at the same time, you know, you're being robbed of your happiness, your joy, and the things that you want for somebody that's really a little abusive. Clarity Guidance. Love messages for Aquarius, please. Clarity guidance. Love messages for Aquarius. So we have the Four of Wands here. We have the Five of Wands here. And we have the Ace of Swords. Aquarius, here's the deal. This relationship on a public perspective, would appear to be very stable. Maybe you're engaged to this person. Um, and, you know, we've got the 1111 card here, which could also be a twin flame journey. Okay, so for some of you, you really are on that twin flame journey, which, by the way, a lot of people love to romanticize it. Twin flame journeys are a disaster, okay? Um, and you're realizing that with the Five of Wands. Someone here is very jealous, very possessive. Um, they always feel like they're in competition with you or like I don't know they just like to argue this person likes to argue and with the ace of swords you're realizing here that you know when things are good they're really great or you know in public perspective you guys are very you know people don't know what's happening behind closed doors but it is happening and and you're just getting very tired so this may be one of those relationships where in front of people everything is okay but then as soon as you shut the door this person goes crazy like you know what I'm saying this person just isn't the same person um, yeah, the, this person really wants to beat you down and then they expect you to give the connection their all and that's not okay at all. 
okay? All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.